there's a lot of fighting going on in Washington right now over health care reform. I want to go over four things that uh, need to happen. It's not a very difficult bill to pass. It's probably something that everybody universally understands and, and would accept. Uh, the first thing is we can't have pre-existing conditions excluded under policies for people who carry continuous insurance or almost continuous insurance. Uh, that's just simply an unacceptable practice. Uh, the second thing is we, we have to have guaranteed issue for, uh, for everyone. If you go through your employer plan or decide to buy an individual plan because your family wants a higher deductible uh, than, than the employer plan, then you should have the option for, for doing that. Um, the, the third thing is uh, we don't need a public option. Uh, public option would mean that government dollars are being expended in some way by its definition. Uh, and that means that, that, uh, that our congressmen would at, at some point have some input on what's covered and what's not covered. And we don't need budget considerations uh, determining what your coverage is. We need you and your family deciding what things you'd like to insure for. Uh, the, the, the last point is uh, there has to be a penalty, and it's got to be a big penalty, for those who elect not to get into the system. Um, if, if you don't get in the system, um, I'm suggesting that you don't have access to care unless you want to pay private dollars for, for that care. Um, it's a mean um, solution, but it, unless there's a really mean solution, people aren't going to respond by getting into the program. They'll just wait until they have an accident and then decide to go buy the insurance at that point. So I'm suggesting that if you haven't had insurance for the two months prior to your application for a policy, that uh, you're not covered for pre-existing conditions, meaning something that you've been treated for or has been in your life for the previous two years until you've had that new policy for or been within the system for a 12-month period. It's a, uh, you know, so if you show up at the hospital and I'm sorry, there's, there's no help for you. You're, you're now yeah, not recognized within the healthcare system. Uh, it's a tough world, but that would require people to get into the system and people getting into the system uh, and not allowing uh, the cost shifting, which is a completely different topic to get involved, um, then everybody would be able to see a lower price, more accessibility, and, and, uh, and, and universal access to care. Uh, so let's, let's, let's pass what needs to be passed and stop fighting over, over whether we need a, um, um, a more socialistic approach or a more uh, entrepreneurial approach to uh, to healthcare.